up everybody, Jay Costa here, sitting at 103 Central Avenue in Hillsdale, uh, my uh, new construction house that I'm building right now, waiting for a building inspector to come. They told me 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. that I have to sit here and wait, um, but I'm here, we're ready. I got my iced coffee here, ready to go. Um, now, the building inspector is coming for a framing inspection today. Framing inspection is done after all of the rough electric, the rough plumbing, and the HVAC is done. Um, and that's all done. We passed all of those inspections already, which is great. So now the building inspector comes and inspects a lot of different stuff uh, uh, in regards to the framing of the house. Most of it has to do with structural um, issues. Um, so it's a big inspection, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay. So here's the front of the house. It's on a 78 by 138, I believe, piece of property. Put vinyl siding on this house. We'll also be putting stone underneath the windows here and here. Also just put the gutters up, the gutter and leader pipes, six inch gutters, uh, three by four leader pipes. Coming out pretty well so far. Two car garage, of course. You'll walk in from the garage and you'll have a nice mud room here. I'm gonna put a bench right here off of the mud room you're gonna walk right into the kitchen now you can kind of see on the floor what the layout is gonna be I don't know if you can see that on video but you're gonna have your sink right here your range here you'll have the refrigerator right here and it's actually gonna loop around that corner over here to create a little bit of a butler's pantry we're gonna put a wine cooler over here it's gonna be a really nice setup And then right next to the kitchen, you have the living room. Fire, 40, uh, I believe that's a 40 inch fireplace. With a nice big window in the back to let uh, in a lot of sun. Not too sunny today, but uh, I'm sure those days are ahead. When you walk through the butler's pantry, that'll bring you into the formal dining room. The formal dining area. We'll have a nice uh, light fixture hanging from the ceiling there. Here's the front door. We're gonna be painting that black most likely and then here's another living area you can call this the family room or the living room or well, the other rooms the, the great room there's a couple different terms for it and then here is the powder room where you'll have a you know a small pedestal sink or a vanity to the left right here and a toilet there walking upstairs now Brings you halfway up, you get onto a nice platform with a big couple of windows. Second floor brings you into the hallway. You met at first with the laundry room. Laundry room on the second floor always, as it, if you can, because it makes it easier for everyone laundry-wise. You don't have to go up and down stairs. No one likes that. Here's the smallest of the bedrooms, the fourth bedroom. You have four bedrooms up here, including the master. Closet right there. I really like how we're going to have this set up. We're going to put a nice railing there. A nice light fixture coming down to show through that window. It'll really help the appeal, the front, the curb appeal of the house. Here's the third uh, bedroom. This one's actually going to have a walk-in closet, which is nice. Now here is the other bedroom. And here's the full bath that'll serve all three of those bedrooms. Tub and toilet in the back, vanity here. And here we have the master. The master, you have a couple windows. You have higher ceilings, vaulted ceilings, and we also put uh, recessed lighting, you know, hi-hats in the master. A big walk-in closet here for the master bedroom. Uh, 
another closet here. You could most likely use it as a linen closet. And then the master bathroom, which is going to be very nice. Double vanity here, two sinks, toilet, tub in the back, and a stand-up shower, stand-in shower. And the master bedroom will be overlooking the, uh, the rear yard. Now this is what I'm here for today. This is the fire stop. Uh, the insulation company comes and they put this fire rated insulation throughout all the holes in the framing. That's part of what the inspector is going to be looking at today. You can see the orange here. And then you also put it around all of the windows and doors as well. It's a, it's a fire preventative measure. Uh, basically not allowing, you know, God forbid there was a fire inside, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, be able to get through these holes around the entire framing of the property and uh, create even more damage and try to confine the fire as much as possible. All right, guys, we're all passed uh, with the framing inspection. Everything went great. A couple of little small things we got to change, um, but nothing major. I got the uh, permit sticker here all ready to go, so now we're ready for insulation. Uh, we'll be starting that next week, hopefully. Uh, stay tuned.